Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, it's been about two weeks since the uh, horned worms went uh, into the uh, cocoon. So here's the enclosure I have for them. I have the lid on here so they don't get uh, um, dr so they don't drown. But this is where they're living in. Ooh, I'm gonna try to keep this open here. You can see one right here. one right there still doing good you see him wiggling he's still he's alive that's one there this one there's a few more in here somewhere I should have um, four other ones in here. This tomato out of here. Oh, there's the other one. Very much alive. You see him wiggling. That's number two. the other one so we got three gotta make sure I count for all of these okay that's two yeah, I'm gonna take these sticks out here for a minute Haven't checked on them since they went to cocoon. Oh. Well, I think the other ones have escaped. Yep, that's what happened. Yep. The other two escaped. Okay, this is what I have left right here. You can see them moving around. They're happy. That's where they probably got out from right there. Oh, that stinks. So they flew out. So they hatch. So I gotta watch these guys here. So these guys don't leave. Cause on the final video, I want to get them uh, get a video of them getting released. Let's put their sticks back in there. That stinks. Two of them um, flood already. Yeah, it's been about two weeks uh, since they've been in a cocoon. So it should be anytime soon. It's a pretty cool cage. I got about, I don't know, about four inches of soil in there for them. They're happy. I keep them moist. Keep this lid on there. So, uh, like I said, they don't drain. And I put a bucket on top, but I gotta close these holes right here. So they don't escape. So they're all in there. All right. Um, thanks for watching. I'll definitely post a video once these guys um, come out of the cocoon and take flight. All right. Thanks, everyone. Until next time. Bye.